Britain's Queen Elizabeth turns 96 on Thursday. CBS News contributor Simon Bates reflects back on her decades-long reign. And as always, a reminder that Simon's opinions are his own, not necessarily reflective of CBS News. This special milestone is a good reason to try and explain why in this country the Queen is almost universally respected, even by people who are dead set against a monarchy. And if you assume that all she's done is wear a crown, uphold a stuffy tradition and cut a few cakes, she couldn't be more wrong. This Queen has changed and evolved with the monarchy down the years. Take her voice for started. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, Originally cut glass, high-pitched crystal at the beginning of her reign, with an accent that no one outside a country house party would understand. But these days... Yes, pandemic. It's amazing, isn't it, what, what can be done when, when need, needs be. Yes, yes. You're the record builders, are you? You had Much closer builders, to many of us. And there have been more changes. The Queen introduced the royal walkabout, getting up close and personal with the crowds that had come to see her. She's also had to deal with the very public deterioration of three of her children's marriages, Princess Anne to Captain Mark Phillips, Prince Andrew to Sarah Ferguson, and Prince Charles to Lady Diana Spencer. Over the years, the Queen hasn't made many mistakes, but in 1997 there was criticism after the death of Diana when she decided to stay in Scotland as the nation mourned. Her return to the crowds in London defused a potentially volatile situation. But, of course, her troubles haven't ended. In her very old age, she's been hurt by the controversy surrounding her son, Prince Andrew, and his friendship with the convicted American pedophile, Jeffrey Epstein. Her grandson, Prince Harry's estrangement from much of the rest of the royal family after his marriage to Meghan Markle, but most of all by the death of her husband, Prince Philip. When you meet her, as I have on several occasions, it's all very civilised. Someone whispers, this is so-and-so, the Queen smiles, asks an appropriate question, listens to the answer and then moves on. And you feel as if you've met a very warm woman, a woman who is genuinely interested in you. And that's Queen Elizabeth. A bit old-fashioned, maybe, a bit traditional, but a stoic and permanent reminder that real change can be achieved over time. That's London Calling for today. This is Simon Bates for CBS News in Devon.